Now in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, vet nurse and dog trainer Kelly McFarlane, and you have had a very busy weekend, haven't you Kelly? I know, yeah, definitely no rest for the wicked. And um, I was actually at a conference, I uh, can't even get my words out, specifically for pet dog trainers. And yeah, hence today's topic, because I was learning a lot more, so yeah. So when I see you say that, so a conference for pet dog trainers, I imagine you're all sitting in the room and someone going, <laughs> sit, and you all sit down. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> we were very lucky, uh, we had our guest speakers actually came over from the UK, which was brilliant. And um, they've actually got a show already called uh, Rescue Dogs to Super Dogs. So it's Nando Brown and, and Joe Rosie Heffenden. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Um, we're talking about guarding today. Is this very common in dogs and what makes them want to guard? It is. I mean, for us, we um, all the time our dogs are usually guarding something. We as people like to guard, mm. uh, especially whether it's our food. Yes. And, you know, sometimes we have the husbands who like to steal the chip off your plate. Yeah, children. Yeah. They eat when I'm not looking. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So it's exactly the same for anim our animals, and it's very, very common. It's just whether it's serious enough for someone to actually want to do something. Are there certain breeds of dogs that like to guard more than others? There can be. We do know it can be genetically uh, a problem. And and animals can actually be born that way as well. So some more than others. We do see it quite a lot with regards to, or, or I should say fact, we know scientifically that um, English Springer Spaniels are, are quite renowned mm. uh, for guarding. We also see it um, definitely, well, my Dachshund, Sizzle, as cute as he looks, a renowned guarder. Yeah. And, um, and then other breeds of dogs, such as your Rottweilers, you know. Right, my dog, Pepper, she's very, very uh, rough. She's a poodle lotion cross, so the most sucky dog you can imagine. She she likes to guard though, she likes to run to the end of the driveway which I assume is guarding and bark at everybody. Yep, different ways of, of guarding, so you can have things such as yeah, your territory, so she's been a bit of a watchdog to tell mm -hmm. you people are there. We have she's dogs She's telling who... people across the other side of the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we definitely have dogs uh, like Sizzle who he likes to guard his what we call resources, so his uh, food and, um, and toys away from the other dog. And then you have dogs who will guard um, another dog, possibly from you know, from the person they're sat with. So there's different variations of guarding. I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing, guarding, but it can get a bit, uh, a bit tricky, can't it, in certain situations, like my dog barking at every man and dog on the street. Um, should you tell the dog off if they're, bar if they're guarding something or we'll take what they're guarding away from them? We tend to say definitely don't punish them for the behaviour. Reason being is, number one, yes, you know, if you've got a dog who's a bit of a watchdog and they like to tell mm. you everyone's there, then there are ways you can train that to actually make it work to your advantage and to your dog's advantage. Um, things like, yeah, if they're guarding certain types of food, especially pig's ears, um, then we tend to say don't try and take it off them while they're eating it, no. the, because what you don't want is to potentially get bitten. Um, but also what it does, as soon as you take it away, it actually heightens the fact that they've got to guard it even more next time. Because yeah, you're going to take it away again. So just give me a quick example then. Dogs barking on the driveway. What should I do? Because <laughs> it drives everybody crazy. <laughs> Well, that's a consultation phase, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's more than just an easy one, off, is it? Uh, it really depends. I mean, you've got to look at what's creating the dog to bark. Also, the dog's learning. If people cross the street, it works. Because they've yeah. barked, they've told them to you know, basically get lost, <laughs> and they've done it. Um, but what you look at then is it becoming a behaviour where it's consistent. So now they're barking at anything that's moving outside. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and the wind. The wind's a big one too. And we like wind. to bark yeah, at the wind. Exactly. Excellent. Hey, Ke hey Kelly, thank you so much. <laughs> and now to our pet of the week. Congratulations to Morris. Fifty dollars to spend at petpost.co.nz on screen. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. That is adorable. That is beautiful. Uh, Fifty dollars too is on your on the way to your owner Rebecca Bennett from Wellington. Sorry, that was just gorgeous. And if you'd like to enter your pet, and it can be any type of pet, and you don't necessarily have to have a baby to go with the pet, just upload a pic on our Facebook page.